Hey guys, it's Mark. I wanted to do a really quick QA. I haven't done one of these in a little while. Hope you like the hair. It's late at night here, but I got a, a just, I mean, I always got, I'm always getting emails, questions, whatever. But, uh, but you know, I got a few over the, just the past few days and I wanted to share my answers with you just in case you had the same questions and you were wondering what I think. I'm just going to read, I'm literally going to read off what I have right in front of me. A lot of times I'll get questions that are along the same lines. So I'm just kind of summarizing uh, what might be a, the same question asked a few different ways, a uh, little different nuances, but just kind of summarizing my thoughts into a single answer. So first, uh, are NFTs really used for money laundering? I mentioned that in my update just a few days ago. Yes, I have contacts who work for parts of the US government and who know what's going on. It's nowhere near as much as real estate companies, investment banks, Central American farms, or prepaid gift cards but it's a lot relative to the size of the NFT market. And it's a concern, especially because it's somewhat easier to obscure the laundering with crypto as opposed to some of these other ways. Uh, second question, am I bullish or bearish on Ethereum? I'm not bullish or bearish on Ethereum. It has a, ETH has a tough road ahead of it. It can't handle mainstream usage and other chains already do what it does better than it can do. But everybody uses Ethereum. A lot of the developers are working on projects to make it better, more useful, and the network effects count for something. I treat it like any other altcoin. If ETH 2.0 ever happens, well, that's a different story. The question is whether that comes before or after Jesus returns. Time to sell Bitcoin for alts or sell altcoins for Bitcoin. In general, I don't sell altcoins, um, except during alt seasons, I might dump some dead altcoins or projects I'm no longer happy with. Otherwise, I'll let them go to zero and take the write-off on my taxes. That said, if I had only Bitcoin, I would definitely buy altcoins now. And this is not financial advice. I, I don't know what your situation is. I'm telling you for me. If I had only had Bitcoin, I would definitely buy altcoins, not sell Bitcoin for altcoins, just buy altcoins with fresh cash. Uh, you're good with Bitcoin in all market conditions. It's still volatile, but it's not likely to ever die. Any given altcoin, even Ethereum, is likely to die at some point. Doesn't mean it will. I'm just saying, when you get 10,000 of these things, the vast majority will die. Um, and, and I would include everything from the number two altcoin all the way down to number 10,001. But when the market's down and the prices are low, altcoins offer the best risk-adjusted opportunity in this market. Uh, in my last update, I said five in five years, most of the top 50 will die, just like most of the top 50 from January 2017 are dead today. Uh, do I really believe that? And yes, I do. I think it's pretty natural to expect that kind of drop off. This is an ex th all of this, everything here. It's experimental technology. None of the top altcoins have a competitive advantage against each other beyond network effects for some of them. Some have no use. Others have no users. And the rest play in a highly competitive industry with uncertain product market fits, few mainstream services that depend on them, and new projects launching all the time with potentially better technology. Adoption is great, but there are no competitive modes among altcoins and cross-chain functionality will only emphasize that situation, and it's unclear how that will play out. I do think five years is enough time that we'll start to see winners emerge though, meaning over the next five years, I think that'll give us enough time, right? We've, we'll have had altcoins for a good 10 years, for a good decade. We'll have viable altcoins, right? There were always altcoins going back you know, to, to, I think 2011 was the first time people started making altcoins. But in terms of really viable projects, 2016, I guess, if you want to include the Ethereum after the whole Ethereum classic mess. And, and that's an arbitrary, number. I'm just saying like, I think that in five years, we'll have had enough time, whether that's, you know, it'll be 2027. So whether you say that's been 11 years for all coins or 15 years for all coins or whatever, all I'm saying is in, by 2027, we'll have a pretty good idea of who the winners and losers are going to be. I don't think 2022 where anybody's going to, people may think they have a good idea. I just, I, I do think it's too early for that. And you know, the winning altcoin may not have even been developed yet. We'll just have to see how it goes. Relax and enjoy the ride.